Good day, Move Ventures. Welcome to episode five of the Business Corner. From this point on forward, we're going to be renaming this segment to Move Ventures Business. So be in alignment with the rest of our branding for Salvation Records. As always, let's open up with a word of prayer before we begin this uh, filling out of this BMI form. And Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to once again come before your people with a word, a message of hope, inspiration, motivation, instruction, education, whatever it may be needed that is going to help people progress further in their goals and dreams. Father God, I ask that you help me to give and display the information that we're going to be talking about today in a comprehensible way, Lord God. I ask that these people who will watch this episode will take this information to heart and they will use it to their best ability to achieve their goals, Father God. As always, I thank you for the safe return of my daughter, Desiree. She came home today, and I thank you for that, Father God. Lord God, we ask that you continue to bless Salvation Records, the staff members, the move mentor, to those who participate in watching our videos and sharing our links, Father God. Above all things, we give you glory, praise, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, let me share the screen here. And we're going to go to this BMI. This is my BMI uh, profile right here. You know what I mean? We're gonna go to work registration. And we're gonna start filling out this uh, work registration. Let's do uh let's do something new. Let's do something new. So in progress work, you're gonna pick which account. I have two accounts here because I'm a songwriter and I'm also have a, a publishing company. So we're going to Underground Assassin's music, right? Uh, we'll add a new work. And of course, like I say, we're under Salvation, I mean, Underground Assassin's music. It's all other genres. We're not doing classical here. But if you are doing classical and original work written for a uh, live concert performance under a chamber music or orchestral uh, license, but we're not doing that. So it's all other genres, right? Any genre other than classical. So we hit next. Work title. We're gonna call this work title Move Mentors Business Demo. You don't have to put the duration, but if you want to to put a duration in here, that 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 would be cool. Let's say let's say uh let's shoot for five minutes and fifteen seconds here. Work content, music and lyrics. If you wrote the uh, lyrics and you wrote the music, then, then you will put the music and lyrics up naturally. But if you only did the music, you will put the, uh, just the music. But I usually do both sides of the, of the coin. So I do music and lyrics. And then we hit next, English or whatever language the song is in or whatever. Uh, then we hit next. This is other works. If this is a private domain arrangement or a foreign lyric version or translation or whatever, you will put yes here, but it's not. It'll be all original music. Uh, does this work contain samples or melodies? You have, you definitely will have to uh, be honest about this. Put, I'll put no, because I typically don't sample um, yet anyway. Well, I'm working on it. I got my bookshelf in here with my uh, vinyl set up. I got to get a uh, record player. And once the Fade to Black Face Life album is done, then I'll start transitioning to my administrative role here at Salvation Records and also my um, production mode, you know what I mean? So that stuff's set up and waiting for me whenever I get around to it. All right, we hit next here. Now we add a publisher here. Publisher is Underground Assassin's Music. I got a couple other publishers that I work with, you know what I mean? But uh, you put your, your, your publishing company here. If you don't have one, then it'd just be yourself. Um, affiliation is BMI, that's my IP number, whatever. Ownership, 100, right? And the collection of that is 100. Refer to your split sheets, guys, as far as this ownership and um, whatever side of the uh, copyright you own, you would be putting your numbers here. So if you just wrote, say, so say for example, you just wrote the lyrics. So you will put 50%, right? Uh, if you just wrote the music, you put 50%. Of course, you know I mean? Numbers could vary, but typically your ownership and your collection are pretty much usually the same amount, same number that you plug in here, right? Then you hit next. Who is our writer? 
course, like I said, it's me again. So I'll I'll go under actually my uh, my real name here. You know what I mean? Affiliation, my role. I'm the composer. The composer is the one who does the music. The author is the one who does the lyrics. My affiliation is 100. percent Now, if you was doing this for ASCAP, it'll be 50 50. They do theirs based off 100 percent um, allocation. BMI splits it up between publishers and, and songwriters, 100 and 100. So they work on a 200 uh, percent allocation system. And that's 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 your movementers, uh, business demo uh, publishers and writers. Our publishers is Underground Sassix Music. I'm the original publisher. It gives my IP number. Um, my ownership is 100 percent. You know what I mean? Da 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 da. Same thing with the writers. I wrote the lyrics, so I'm a composer and author. Da 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 da. da. Or the music, music too. I mean, like I said before earlier, your composer is the one who does the music, your author is the one who does the lyrics. So if there was someone else who did a part of the composition, say, say I wrote the, wrote, let's go back, let's go back and uh, edit this. All right. So the recap on the publishers and the writers. I did the beat, Crystal Clear did the lyrics, right? So Underground Assassin Music, that's my publisher. 50% ownership, 50% collection. Uniquely Special Music, it's Chris's publishing company. So he has 50% and 50%. Writers, again, I did the music, he did the lyrics, right? 50-50, and it, and it links us back to our publishing companies here. So I'm with Underground Assassin Music, he's with Uniquely Special Music. Next. This is the artist in recording asking, um, are there any artists? If typically you want to say yes, recordings, typically yes. Was there work created for film, TV, theater, or music libraries? Typically no, when you're doing like this kind of music we're doing. So I will put no, but if you are doing this for film and TV and theater and things like that, you would check yes, right? All right, now here's where we add the artist name. So since Crystal Clear did the uh, lyrics, we're going, we're going to use his, uh, Use his moniker here, and that's it. Recording, file format, we're gonna say this is a single. Recording title, we, oh, you see that Fade the Black Face of Life up there, don't you, boy? Yeah, it's coming, man. I'm on the second disc mixing, you know what I mean? Uh, this recording title, we're gonna call this, uh, uh, what did I say? We turns with this. Volume one. Now the title is his work was first released as part of an album. Tell us the name of the album. So that's why it's not the same as the uh the title of the track. Release date, we're gonna release this May 31st. Was it labeled? Yes. Then you'll put your record label in here, which is already populating because I use BMI a lot. And then we make a, a catalog number. Usually I go uh, Salvation Records dash zero zero. Well, this would be the second release. The first release this year was uh, that Faith the Black Face of Life mixtape, which will be dropping May 8th. So be on the lookout for that. But this would be the second release and the first song in 2022. Now you can make up your own own catalog and system here. This is just how I do mine. I usually do the record label name, Salvation Records, the 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 number of which release it is for this year, the second release, the first track, and the year. That's typically how I, I build my um, catalog um, database. And that's it. So we hit next, and then it gives you a summary here. And we'll go through the summary real quick. The title of the track is Blue Metro's Business Demo in English. It's all, all, all other genres, music and lyrics, five minutes, 15 seconds, right? And then we got the publishers in here. That's my publishing company, Crystal Clear's publishing company. Um, and then our percentages are ownerships, right? I mean, how like the whole thing. Our percentage and ownerships, ooh, let me, ownership percentage in the collection rather. Then we got our writers, me, me and, and Crystal Clear, right? And our publishers are linked also to our writing, um, songwriters uh, identification here. 
artists and recordings, Crystal Clear. It's a single, and the name of the album will be Movementors Business Volume One. Uh, the release date is on the 31st, catalog, da 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 da. You check this box to represent that you are a notch and that you have, uh, to the best of your ability, to supply information that is true. And then you hit submit, which I won't do because this is a fake uh, demo thing here, right? So that's it for that, man. Hope you guys got some kind of knowledge out of that. Hope you can use what information was given to you. Um, PROs. I think I think I might, I might save that for uh, the next Booth Betters business episode, where I'm actually going to talk about what BMI ASCAP does, because I want to I want to give you the most up to date numbers and things like that. So with that, guys, I'm gonna end this uh, this session. But as always, I want you guys to stay tuned, stay alert, and remember, you are the movement. Blessings, guys.